never fit in Never could win This isn't the life you wanted Though I tried and tried It'll be better for you This feeling don't end I promise the world premiere of Yellow Rose took place earlier this year at the Los Angeles Asian Pacific Film Festival and also made history for being the first Filipina-American filmmaker to open at the festival. Diane Paragas, the writer and director of Yellow Rose, producer Cecilia Mejia, and actress Princess Punsalan took the time to share their thoughts on the momentous event. Congratulations on the premiere. It is the first Filipina-made film that's premiered at the VC Film Fest in over 30 years, I think. So how, what goes through your mind when you hear something like that? Um, uh, just, just utter gratitude and, and just um, gratefulness. Um, but, you know, I worked hard to make this movie and it just seemed like a perfect way to bring it out into the world. And the response was just overwhelming, overwhelming. I could not have imagined a better response to the film. So it's just a wonderful, wonderful night. It was a wonderful night. Oh, I was very excited because, um, well, first of all, first of all, it's been five years since we first uh, discussed about being in the film. And finally seeing it in big screen in a world premiere was just super exciting for me. And being it uh, the opener for the film festival was just super humbling. And 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 in a way, just I just I almost wanted to scream like, ah! but it's so, yeah, so. But I was very happy, very very happy about it. Yeah. Um, it, it was very bittersweet. I thought, like, wow, you know, first Filipina film in 30 years, but like 30 years. <laughs> um, but also, um, I, I was, I remember being really excited when the d debut came out, and I thought that was the first Filipino film to open the festival. And like, there's been that much time in between where Filipino stories are highlighted in an Asian American film festival. So, um, you know, it was, it was really like great to see the response but just to have people relate to the story even when they weren't Filipino was, was really touching. I emailed Diane the day of yesterday and I was like I have no idea how any of this happened it's like eight years it's like how is this? like we woke up it's eight years later um, I just followed my gut it was like you know Diane had a vision I was like well you know I, I, I could see it I don't know where it's gonna go with this, but um, I never, I had never seen, I never met, actually never met a Filipino filmmaker before in my life. I didn't know that that existed ever. So I, you know, that was enough for me to even want to come on to the project. But then the story of immigration, which is so dear to my heart, uh, was really the reason why I, I really pushed for it. And then just to kind of meet all these other filmmakers and other Filipinos and other Asian filmmakers in the process was like, you know, I want to keep going with this and see where it goes. Hey! Hey! Stop the ball! Where are they taking you off? I'm illegal! I'm illegal, Elliot! They take everything away. I don't even have a name anymore. And 35? Well, when I first read the script, I saw the heart. I saw the heart of it, and I, I felt touched when I was reading it. I said, I, wanna, I, I want to be a part of a film that shows this kind of love between a mom and a daughter, and that very situation where I know a lot of people I know are going through, so I wanted to be a part of it. And I'll sing to you the light of day. Eva, beyond being, let me just talk about her as an extraordinary actress. Uh, this is her feature film debut, and Broadway's not something everybody can go and see. It's expensive, it's only in New York City. Um, but this is a chance for us to experience this extraordinary young talent. I think this is a Jennifer Lawrence type of performance that will put her on a world stage, I hope. She's just such a great, um, natural actress and extraordinary singer i'm you know if you don't if you don't relate to her the movie wouldn't work yeah. if you don't feel for her and um i just think she's extraordinary so i'm very honored for her to be her feature film debut yeah yeah she ain't bad she ain't she's all right you know 
It's okay. I'll take it. I'll take it. No, Leia saying yes. I mean, uh, we met Leia in a restaurant, <laughs> and she was like, "It's Leia," and I'm just like, "Uh huh." It's like. And, and she was like, she was like, you know, I was like, okay, Leia, you want to do the movie? She's like, yeah. I was like, great. And that was it. And um, and we were like, did that just happen? And um, uh, but she has been beyond being in the movie. She's been an extraordinary ambassador. She has been an ambassador. She's done like a single-handed press junket on our movie because she really believes in the film. And I just had got to give props out. She doesn't need to. She's Leia Salonga. Queen, Lady Queen Mez, you know, she, but she, she really, uh, she really lent her talents and her name to this film, which is extraordinary. No, I won't go quietly into the night and I'll sing to the light.